So Joe, one of the things that we talk about a lot are things to do and don't do when you're looking to get into your next car. And so we know that you are online. We know that you are searching. So one of the top search things that I found on Google when, you know, what do I need to do when I'm looking to buy a car was, what documents do you need? I've never thought about that. What do you need to bring with you when you want to get a car? Well, we can start with the first of it is if you have a trade-in. If you have a trade-in and you're not financed with a national bank, you're financed with a, like a local credit union or a local bank, you need to bring your payoff. A lot of people don't know what their payoff is. So you get here, and if it's local bank or local credit union, it's after hours because everybody works, there's no way to get on what that payoff is. So bring your payoff, current payoff, with you from your local bank or credit union. Now, if it's one of the national banks, we usually can get it for you. But if it's a local credit union or local bank, you, you need to bring it. Um, and it also needs to be a 20-day payoff. It don't need to be, it's good for today <laughs> because you are not going to be able to pay it off that same day. So get a 20-day payoff. But some other documents that you need to bring, of course, is your driver's license, your insurance. It makes a difference. Uh, a lot of people in this area, for whatever reason, have a lot of, a lot of them have just have IDs. It's very important we know up front if you have an ID or a driver's license. Can you buy a car with ID? Yes. Will every bank do it for you? No. <laughs> so it's very important that we know that. Current insurance, of course, is a huge thing um, because in the state of Texas, we are required that you have drivers uh, have insurance as soon as you drive off the lot. It's something that we have to uh, monitor. Other things would be um, your current paycheck stubs. Um, to How show many? Well, great question. At this time of the year, you need to bring your last year's, your, the very end one that you had from last year, or your W-2 from last year. And your current paycheck stub. The reason why is because banks will not, will not count your overtime unless you have three months. Well, of okay. course, we haven't been three months in this year yet. So um, right now, you would have to bring your last your year in one and your current one. Now, once we get to the end of this month, then you could bring in just your January last. January Yeah, just whatever. your year in one because we'll go off year to date. Okay. And it'll have all your overtime on it. So at this particular time, you need to bring two, the end of the year and um, your most current one. But at the end of this month, you could just use your most current paycheck stub. So what were to happen if somebody, you know, they, they bring in everything, but they forget the pay stub or they forget one of those documents, got to come back. You're not going to get it. You're not going to leave. You're going to have to make more than one trip up here. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. And we want to make it as easy as we can. So we don't want them to have to come back and forth. That's not what, believe us, we, we don't like it as much as another, but nobody else does. We don't want to make people wait. But unfortunately, with the banks the way they are right now, they hold us accountable for it. So if you don't bring it and we don't collect it, we're on the hook for it. And so another good one that says proof of residence. Okay. Sometimes you got to prove where you live. I know yeah. a lot of people move around a lot. Unfortunately, sometimes if it isn't on your credit bureau, you're going to have to prove that. Okay. The easiest way is with a current uh, utility bill, like electric, water, or phone bill. If you don't have one of them, there are different ways to do it. But the best way is with one of a, a, a utility like that. So you need to bring proof of residence. So um, as far as that, I, Is that about that's about it. I mean, there's always, you know, that few odd ones that they say, hey, you need to bring this. Um, if you are, like we go back to the proof of income with your check check, paycheck stub, if you get money from Social Security, if you get money from the government, mm -hmm. um, we need you to bring your award letter with you. Um, that way it shows that how long you're going to be getting that amount of money. Child support, same thing. We need proof. Anything that you get that's coming in that house, we need proof Any of it. Any source of income exactly. that you're getting. Okay, very good. So all, the, all of these things are very important to keep in mind because, A, we know that you're doing at least 16 hours of research before you even come into a dealership. This is just one more thing. Hey, while you're doing your research, you are putting a budget together. You've got an idea of what kind of car you want to get. Don't forget these things. you got to bring more than just an idea in your head of what you want before you come into the dealership. So be prepared, of course. Everything you could ever want to know about buying a car is on our website, classaconda.ofmidland.com. What else? That's about it. Just, and if you have any questions of what you need to bring, yes. maybe you don't remember the list or maybe you don't, just give us a call. Just call and ask, hey, this is the situation I'm in. What do I need to bring? We'll give you the list of stuff to bring. If you can't find something, we understand. But once again, it could hinder it a day or two before you get in your car. So keep that in mind. And a Red Bull doesn't hurt. Red Bulls, are, Red Bulls trump everything. Yeah, I mean, you they actually don't. Don't, don't believe that. <laughs> it could, I mean, it, it could put Joe in a good mood, so that yeah. could help maybe your price. There you go. He'll take 10000 off. No, not that, that's, <laughs> a lot of, that's a lot of Red Bulls. <laughs> so maybe a case. Yeah, I don't there know. you go. <laughs> Come see Joe.